For my fringe, I've got some leftover pieces I'm going to use up. I've got some Burnett Baby coordinates. It's got a really pretty little sheen to it. Some basic Burnett Soft Chunky, some Burnett Softy Baby, and this is Looped, or sorry, this is Lion Brand Homespun. So what we're going to do is take some yarn, and I'm going to wrap it around 13 inch piece of cardboard. If you want your fringe longer, then cut a longer piece. If you want it, your fringe shorter, then of course cut it shorter. I'll be cutting my strands through the middle. So I'm just going to bring my first strand to the middle and we'll just wrap this so one. Two, three, four, five, six. And I'll end in the middle. And cut through the middle. And there we have our first grouping of strands, and I'm going to do the same with my other wool. I've got all my yarn cut now, so I'm just going to take one from each grouping. And I'll just come in and even up all my ends so this is the same length approximately. And then we'll fold them in half. Find your middle point. I'm going to lift the shed stick and that's just going to make it easier to get in to our strands. So that was the first two where I've added my first one. We'll take the next grouping. It's two strands of yarn in each section, but I'm going to go over two of them. So we're going over two. Then we're going to bring the right side into the middle and grab it with your finger. Bring this side over into the middle and grab it with your finger again. Pull them through. Lift up to tighten and pull them down. So carry on and do all your other sections, grabbing two each. I've added the fringe all the way along. I'm just going to drop the shed stick and I'll come in with my beater and just bring these down. Now we will remove the shed stick, come up right by our dowling to open up the next shed. And we can also remove the cardboard. That will just make it not so tight when we're weaving now. Give it a little bit more looseness. I'm now going to wrap one of my weaving shuttles with some of the, the gray. And I don't need a lot because I'm only going to go back and forth a couple times just to lock in these knots. Now, if you remember our weaving before, Every time we're using the shuttle or the shed with the dowling, that means we can go, that means we can go straight through. So wind enough of your yarn again. And we're gonna just bring that shuttle straight through to the other side. And leave a bit of a tail on this end and just a bit of an arc. And the same as before, make your little bounds and then come back and beat it down. And just to tie in our end there, again, thread your needle. This one is under, so I'm going to go over and under, over and under. And just enough to bring that through, lift up your loom. Pull that through just to lock it in place and bring it to the back. And now we'll have to take our shit out and again. And then we're going to come back. This is on the top, so we know we have to go down on the first two. And then up and down, up and down, up 
and down and continue across the whole way. We've now brought our shed stick through, lift the shed. through, folding onto the side, arch it down, drop your shed, move the mounds, and beat it down. Now we've secured our knots. Now we're going to come back and make one more row in between these ones and add more knots. This time I'm going to make my strands with the Lion Brand Homespun. So I'm going to put two strands this time just to come up on top and I'm going to make them shorter. So I'm going to use my 10 inch board. So I'll just wrap this lots of times and then we'll cut up our strands and we'll add our next row knots. And with our shed stick still raised we're now looking for our groupings of two again. That was my first two, or I've added the first one. And then here's our next two. So again, find the middle of your two strands, through to the middle, and through to the middle. Bring them both up, pull up, and pull down. And that's gonna fill in the little bit of the gap that we've got that we left from our other row. In the next two again, fold in half, find your middle, find your next grouping of two. On the top, come into the middle, bring this one into the middle, bring them both through, pull up and pull down and continue across. And drop your shed and come in and just beat that last row down. It's all together. Now we're just gonna bring back our gray just to lock those last knots in. And again, open up the shed. And this gray here is underneath and we know that we have to go over, which is perfect. That's exactly how we've opened up our shed. And again, Holding on the end, arcing, bringing it down, and we'll cut the gray off and threading again. We're over, so we're going to go under and over. Easy to drop the shed. And just need to do a few just to lock it in. Again, lift the frame, pull it through. Make sure you haven't pulled in your edge and beat it down. And there's our finished dry fringe. I'm not going to do any trimming right now. I want to finish the whole wall hanging and then when I hang it on the wall, I can see if I want to take the first layer here and and trim some shorter or make some little scoops in it. I'll decide at that point in time, but right now I'll leave it the way it is. I want to keep the same sequence as we had in the beginning, which meant that this is the one that we used our shuttle to have to go through to open our shed. And then coming back this way, we were able to use our doweling for the shed and come back right through. Now I'm going to come in and make a few rows of plain tabby weave using this Biggie Loops and Thread. And again, I'm going to do about four arm, or sorry, four body lengths wrapped around my weaving shuttle. So we're just going to open up that shed. I'm going to bring my shuttle through that I've already wound. And same as before, leave some end, bring this down, loop it down. Make your mounds, drop your shed, and beat it down. I'm just going to raise my shed just so I can tuck this in. 
So we're just going to come, it's probably not going to fit in this needle, we'll see. I don't think so. No, that's okay. So we've gone over, so we just go under and over, under and over, under and over. Just lift up your frame, just pull that through and just that will just tuck in to the back. And you can bring back that shed and just tuck that back in. All right, so now we're gonna pull out the shed, bring it up to the dowling. So that will create our second shed, open it up, and then we're ready to come back the other way. And again, hold on the end, bring it up, mark it down, make your mounds, drop your shuttle, or your shed stick, sorry, and beat it down. Now you're back to having to come in and find your sheds on this side again. So we're on the top here, so we know we have to go up down and up and down and go through your row again. And our shed is through, lifting it. Drop your shed. Pull your shed stick out. And in again, bring it down, lift it up, and wrap through the other way. Drop the shed. And we know this is going to go under, so we know we've got to lift this one up and back through again. And complete that process until you've used up or done as much as you want in this section. And I'll finish with that section, so I'll just cut that off. Here's my shed. This is going over, so I'm going to go under and over, under, over. Pull it on the other side. And tuck that in.